Being in the right place at the right time, a Boca Raton police officer jumps into action after a fellow employee stops breathing. Now that hero is getting a big pat on the back for his efforts. CBS 12's Lynn Gordon spoke with the officer and the employee who nearly lost her life. You may remember this scene back in September when three Boca Raton police officers lifted a car off a six-year-old boy at Verde Elementary School. But it's not just citizens Boca police are rescuing these days. Just last month, Officer Tony Brum saved the life of a fellow employee. The seeing look on her face scared the pants off of me. Rumpf is a 20-year veteran on road patrol who happened to be in the right place at the right time. He was eating lunch at the police station when employee Grace Rosa began choking on a piece of meat. She was distressed. Um, and I could tell she, she couldn't talk, couldn't say anything, and she was giving that universal sign that she could not breathe. You can see your life going through your face, but so fast. It's terrible. It's just very bad feeling. Without hesitation, Officer Rump jumped into action and performed the Heimlich maneuver. And I go fight. So I knew what that indicated. I turned her around. I did the Heimlich maneuver, thrust up, and came out. While all officers learn to perform the Heimlich during CPR training, Officer Rump has never had to use it during his two decades on the force. We have training every two years, CPR training. Uh, it's very important. And it's a good thing that I remember how to do it. Because of his efforts, Officer Rump received the department's life saving award last week, which is rarely given out. Despite all the accolades, Officer Rump still doesn't feel like a hero. Yeah. It's like if you're at your own family reunion or a home with your own family and that happens, you just do what you know what to do. But it's easy to see why Rosa disagrees. You think he's a hero? You feel like he's a hero? Yeah. He will be forever. Thank you. Thank you so much. In Boca Raton, Lynn Gordon, CBS 12.